What is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and today I bring you PKing with full Darox for 10 hours. The lower your HP, the higher you hit. So I'm really excited to use this today. We are going to mainly be focusing in PvP worlds, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a preview of what this set is capable of in the Clan Wars world. PKing with full DH is a popular thing to do in the PvP worlds if you are max combat, and although my risk will be 6.5 mil every time I die, it is is going to be well worth it. Using the Avernic Defender as well as a Max Fire Cape, we're going to have a little bit of extra DPS as well as a Void Waker for our main special attack weapon. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start this 10 hour timer and let's PK. So I don't think I'm going to win this one, but I don't want him to win either. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport out since I'm out of food here, but I'm not going to be showing too many clips of me teleporting. I just want to show you guys me winning or me losing. Now, as you can see by my KDR at the top left, I'm not that experienced in PVP and I'm definitely not that great at DHPKing, but with DHPKing, not only do you need a little bit of skill, but also luck plays a factor. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a good idea today and we make some good money. I will be tracking every single kill I get and every single death that happens on a notepad so that we can add up our profit or our loss at the end of the video. What a beautiful axe swing. With 53 HP, I managed to hit a 67 and this is our first kill of the video, just shy of 12 million GP. That guy was risking a berserker ring. I wonder if it was imbued but either way we're off to a great start again we are risking 6.5 mil so that kill essentially is less like two deaths right there hopefully that happens more often i'm really not too sure what people tend to risk with this setup if it's going to be more than i do or less than i do i guess it just depends on who we fight all right i'm going to pull out the axe here i wasn't sure if he was venged and that answered my question unfortunately we died but uh yeah we're just going to add that to the notepad hopefully average out at the end all right let's go ahead and break his vengeance pull out that void waker sometimes it's better to just just rely on the void waker but we haven't even eaten our food yet but with that second special attack we didn't even need to this is a pretty average loot here 3.3 mil that represents someone who doesn't have a plus one as a spec weapon oh this guy's got a unique cape on i didn't even know this thing existed i'm not too sure what those boots are either but yeah we have a tentacle whip uh this guy is pretty interesting he takes off his armor a lot during the fight i suppose that's to make uh, sure that i hit his vengeance with a much higher hit raising the chances of me dying but sometimes people tend to eat too high and they take their armor off. Either way, though, when he put it back on, we did get a nice spec in once again for a beautiful loot key of 5.6 mil. Well, if it keeps going like this, we might just be making some money today, gentlemen. It's really nice to try out PKing after so many videos of anti-PKing. You know, here we are actually facing the PKer as a PKer ourselves. And it's nice to also know that I'm not the only one here without an Inferno cape. Uh, he's using a music cape, which I actually haven't unlocked. I still haven't done the new quest. But either way, uh, let's go ahead and finish the job here. We're going to axe twice. This guy is one of the very few that does not save. He was low HP most of the fight and we did manage to get him two times in a row here, which means another 5.6 mil loot key. And we'll add that to the notepad. Looks like he was eating antelope. I'm really not too sure what he was doing there, but either way, on to the next fight. Let's go ahead and go in for the spec here. And all right, really should go for the double spec, but for some reason I went for the axe. I just, uh, you know, I'm still learning at this point. Double void waker seems like the way to go most of the time though. So so probably could have killed him, but we uh, we now know for next time. So hopefully I'll just stick to that Void Waker. Although using DH is a lot of fun. At, uh, it's not always the thing to do in these fights. You got to really preserve that special attack. But here we go with the rematch. Let's go ahead and go for the double spec this time around if it seems possible. Sometimes I spec a 28, but let's see what we get this time. 65, one more. Please be a 60. All right, 44. I'll take it. That's going to be a nice key. I believe this is our fourth kill in a row. Another Berserker Ring. 10.8 mil. Guys, we are going to make some bank today. Plus, I think with only one death, I was already up six mil before this kill streak happened. So let's go ahead and rematch that guy in the music ape who eats the antelope. I like how he risks HP. So uh, yeah, let's go back to him. All right, so I'm going to try and get the axe swing in here, but his granite maul just got it before me. I was risking HP a little too much during that fight. I got too comfortable. So that's another 6.5 gone, but we're still up on him. So that's all right. We just got to play it more safe. You know, with DH, you want to have low HP so that you hit high, but you always have to remember your opponent has vengeance. Well, I don't know if the venge killed me or the hit killed me, but either way, I'm glad I didn't get smited. My prayer was a little too low there. Another 6.5 gone. Let's try and make it back real 
quick. All right, all right, 75. I didn't even get a chance to eat any food there. Now I know how that feels. All right, we'll put that on the notepad. Try not to show that too much, that notepad. I know it's pretty bright, but either way, let's move on to another fight here. This is not a dh -er for once, so I feel a lot more comfortable, and yeah, I expected that to happen. I think this guy was pretty good too, but we had a really early uh, nice hit. Four mil loot. That's not bad for someone who's not risking DH. One hour into the video so far, had those deaths not occurred so quickly, that would have been a really good first hour, but either way, we're at 14.8 mil profit. The heart rate is real right now. It's real fast. Could have probably profited 25 mil that hour or 30 mil potentially, but not this time. All right, this guy keeps taking off his armor, so uh, I gotta be careful with his venge there. I really risked it, and so did he. So did I once again. So did he once again. Who's gonna win this fight? Oh, man, that was crazy. All right, I don't encourage that. Let's go ahead and rematch, though. Uh, D Scimitar, pleasantly surprised with it, but let's go in for the Void Waker. Beautiful, as he was going in for the Granite Mall spec. I never get why people use Granite Granite Mall, it just, uh, it's just so inaccurate compared to Void Waker, but another 11.8 million GP. I think that's our biggest PK so far. All right, got another fight here. It's going for the spec. Here we go. And yeah, it was a little too high HP for that. But, wow, he did not uh, did not worry about hitting high with that axe. That's a big old hit there. Another 6.5 mil gone. All right, we broke the vengeance and, oh, geez. Well, all right, I don't think I could have survived that. That was a big hit. 78. What's with all these big... Where's my big hits? Slow and steady. Let's keep it slow and steady. We broke the vengeance. Uh, 40 with the SS. G oh, okay. What a combo that was, huh? Sarah Sword pulling through for him, but... Uh, oh, that's not good for me. All right, pretty low on food, no spec. I need to ax him, but I'm just... Nah, I gotta eat here. Let's go with the car. All right. Yeah, I should have... Uh, anglerfish Karambwan, but I don't know what I was thinking. That was just being a little nervous, but leads us into our second hour being finished now. One kill that hour, four deaths. We're about averaged out now. No profit, but not a lot of loss. Let's, uh, let's stop dying. Break the vengeance into the axe. Let's go. And he got a before me. Dang it. I guess I was off on my timing there. Uh, a lot of deaths now. That's not good, but I I'm going to resurrect myself. You know, this is just practice. We're just warming up, guys. I'm hoping that, you know, by the end of this video, I'll have some expert skills with the DHPKing and I can make some good money with this in the future. Ouch. It's not happening today, so maybe in the future. You know, it's bad when your opponent puts a sad face. You know, he felt bad for killing me. I think that's our fifth or sixth death in a row, so, uh, well, all right. It's still possible that we can come back from this. Uh, 66 with that HP. Oh my gosh. 66 reasons not to DHPK. Let's go back. We're going to switch it up here. Obsidian Shield, AGS combination. Oh, for God's sake. Well, you know, the Venge combination didn't work there. AGS, I didn't really uh, get a whole opportunity to put it to good use. But yeah, another death there. That is our eighth death in a row. All right, another fight here. Come on. Let's not make it number nine. Number nine. Yep, there it is. Well, you know what? A wise man once said it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward and with that what is a pit swap i don't know with that being said we have gotten our kill we've ended the streak there's another 5.4 mil not too much to make back now. Let's keep this up, man. We got this. Never trust someone who takes their clothes off in the wilderness. That's happened in too much. This guy's killed me four times now. I really have to stop fighting him. But either way, I got to keep fighting this guy. Got a nice 67 axe there. That was clean. After a death, we did get a kill. Uh, probably made like, well, actually, I lost 500k from that uh, segment. But either way, nine times in a row, we died. Let's make sure the next hour goes much better. One spec followed by two. Got us another kill. I love that double void waker it's such a powerful weapon six mil loot right there not bad at all i will happily take it why'd he have 10 teleports all right this guy who killed me four times okay make that five times in a row well sometimes there's just not a lot of people to fight okay he took his clothes off you guys know what that means don't trust him again i you know this was in the moment it was late at night i didn't know what was going on all right we got a different kind of fight here this was uh someone that was just trying to find a fight i felt bad for him so i got different gear and why did i feel bad for him all right a little dragon hosta action when i was fighting this guy i thought it was a spear but it uh, doesn't really matter because i died to the void waker all right all right let's go ahead and try out bounty hunter i mean i know people here pk with vestas and stadius and all that good stuff so uh, i'm not gonna come back here and it was fun while it lasted he took his armor off that only means one thing man you'd think i learned by now you know but uh, i guess i didn't really get the hint i always assumed i was like oh they're just taking their armor off they uh yeah i don't know what i'm thinking well adding insult to injury literally there but uh appreciate all the support from the fans nearby but yeah now we got uh, dropped by this lower level but it was all right learning experience 
minutes. All right, four hours into the video, we are down 54 mil overall. Guys, it's time to switch it up. We have to go try something else out with this DH set. Let's go try out PKing at the Revenant Caves. All right, so it's usually dead here, but in World 303, there are some people, and it looks like skill specs showed up out of nowhere. So greetings to skill specs. This is one of the nicest live streamers on the planet and even a better human being. I mean, incredibly nice guy. I stopped live streaming two years ago, but one of the only people that ever reaches out and that ever really, you know, actually wonders what I've been up to, why I stopped streaming, it's always been skill specs. So I just want to say nothing but love for this guy. If you guys haven't checked him out, please do so on whatever live streaming platform he's on. And what a great fight we had, man. I had a nice hit in the very beginning there. 22 mil PK skill specs. If you're watching this man, thank you for everything. And I'm not talking about the 22 mil. That's just icing on the cake. All right, guys, we got another fight here. This guy means business. He's risking like, what is this? Two, 300 mil here. There's no way we survive. So we have to kill him. Come on, guys, let's go. We're around the corner here. He's lower HP void waker on. Let's go in for the spec 40. I don't know what to do. Axe him. Okay. Oh my God. I'm panicking. I don't know what I'm doing. Another axe hit maybe. Oh, I should have double specced with the void waker, man. He would have died for sure. Oh man. I just, I really thought I could kill him there, but I just got caught up in the moment. My palms were sweaty. My knees weak. Arms are heavy uh, and there's vomit on my sweater already. Looks like it's spaghetti, but either way I died. I didn't want to get smited. Yeah. I mean, I, I could have killed him, but no, nah, I just didn't want to get smited. All right, let's go back to PVP. That was a fun adventure in the Revenant Caves. We got a nice kill right back on PVP. So a good way to start anyway, 6.7 mil. I didn't want to stay in uh, Revenant Caves because it's much harder to find fights there and the odds of me dying are actually much uh, higher than they are here. No, I know that sounds stupid based on what you guys have seen so far, but I promise I just wanted to get as much content, as much fights in for you guys as possible in 10 hours, which now leads us to the halfway point. We have five hours remaining. We're still down profit wise, but that 22 mil PK did help out. Well, it did until I died three more times and the claws with the void waker got me, which did surprise me. But uh, yeah, after that, it was a void waker to G mall, which now I understand why people use G malls. I'm going to suicide here, but it should be okay because this guy's risking something. Double Void Waker. I knew that would happen. I ran back and I actually made 200k from that, so that was worth it. Pull out the axe. Here we go. 51. We had the right timing on that. That should be a nice kill. This guy risks more. 8 mil. The manacles, I absolutely love. I think I want to start wearing them. It's unfortunate that they're 800k, though. I did decide to rematch this guy just because I'm such a fan of those shoes, and unfortunately, he did get the better of me. Alright, let's go ahead and time this right. Boom! Look at that stack. Oh, if it just would have specced higher, but it doesn't even matter. The double spec pulled through for me. That was a really quick kill. I only ate one food in that fight. And overall loot key with my new manacle shoes is 5.8 mil. And three, two, one. Hiya! I figured I'd give that guy sound effects for his amazing kill. And I bow to you too, good sir. Four hours left in the video, six hours in. This guy has 60 sets. My man, that is 59 more than me. You guys should see my bank right now. Everyone thinks I'm rich and everyone also wonders why I'm not rich, but uh, there's a story behind everything. Anyway, another death, unfortunately. I don't even know what the profit slash loss is right now, but I don't want to know. So we're going to find that out at the end of the video. The notepad is still tracking everything. Take a little bit of a break. I'm just tired of dying, frankly. Uh, so I ran into this wizard in the deep wilderness. I was on the opposite side of the gate and I saw him. So I figured, all right, let me catch up to him. And I did kill him successfully, but it turns out he was going to go meet up with his team who I ran into a second after I killed him. All right, we got a tank Shaggy and Scooby-Doo over here. Now, usually in a situation like this, I got full DH. I'm ready to go. I got my manacles as well, my brand new shoes. But man, I was just getting out DPS on everything here. They were both praying accordingly and I just could not get a stack on before I got refrozen. It seemed like the multi-line never ended, and I ran in all the wrong spots, so I actually died. But it is what it is. I'm happy to tribute to the cause. Well, here we are again at the Wilderness Agility Arena with a fight against a Tribrid, and uh, it seems like I always end up back here, doesn't it? What can I say? I absolutely love this area, and I'm not going to stay here that long, but I did check out the Revenant Caves temporarily, and it worked out well. So maybe if we check out the Wilderness Arena for about an hour after we finish up this long fight, which, again, I just could not kill this guy. He is so close to dying but I'm so brewed down I cannot hit anything and it's only one hit that I need the zeros here are painful they don't get any easier to see and he did get away but I did come back and he happened to log back in and we had a rematch and he got the better of me but it was a lot of fun and a respectable fight so here we are with three hours left and what do we have here ladies and gentlemen I think I found our golden goose let's go ahead and scroll up no hesitation here I'm only risking eight mil compared to his 80 let me go ahead and eat that spec my HP is plenty high and now I got a spec of 
my own there, boss. Let's go ahead and get this vengeance on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Venge the AGS. Spec with the Void Waker. And ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, man. I just need to stick to this Wilderness Agility Arena. This is my new world, I swear. But, uh, you know, how am I going to keep making videos of it? Here we go. Let's open up the key, though. 73.3 mil. Well, it's not quite 80 mil, but wow, it's close enough. That is huge, guys. That helps out all of our profit. And I believe now we have broken even with two hours left to go. I was unable to find another fight after that guy. I returned to PvP only to die two times in a row. What can I say? I never learned my lesson, but I never want to stop getting better. I never want to stop improving, and the only way I'm going to do that is if I continue to do these fights with the real PKers themselves in the PvP world. If you guys are a fan of PKing, check out PvP, check out BH, check out LMS. So many options for you. Alright, after a few deaths, maybe we'll get this guy. He is, uh, I mean, he should be dead already, and so should I, frankly, but yeah, neither of us died there, so at least that's a win for me. They didn't lose any money. Let's pull out the AGS now, switch it up from the Void Waker. It goes good with the Eclipse at Laddle. Absolutely love PKing with this thing. Didn't pay off in that fight, but speaking of the Eclipse, this guy with full bandos was risking the whole set as well as the Eclipse, and unfortunately he got the better of me, but maybe we will kill this guy who's also risking an absurd amount of money. Why does he have Infinity Boots? Is that just for the fashion? Because, I mean, he's got Missouri, Elijah, Virtus, and you know I'm going to ask him to fight. Here we go, guys wish me luck. All right, so I'm just going to have to tank a lot. I don't want to die at the same time. I've never had a smite fight. This guy's not doing any overhead prayers, so I figure I'll give him the same courtesy, right? Because, I mean, clearly he doesn't probably need the prayer with the Elijah, but I don't want him to safe, and I want to get a chance to kill him, so I'll keep the prayer off. All right, 33. Come on, Void Waker. Oh my gosh, the delay. 21. All right, into the axe. I'm 26 HP. Oh my gosh, he must be like 70. I don't know if that's a chance or what, but man, to see this guy risking so much money and not really valuing his HP at above 99 the whole time? That is incredible on its own. Well, he did kill me, so I became a temple, and that's, uh, that's my life now, but uh, yeah, that'll be alright. I'm one with the game. Alright, let's get back to it, PvP Worlds. Uh, you know, it didn't work out for the most part of this video. Maybe it'll work out for the ending of this video. Boom! That guy was a little too slow with that Void Waker, so I caught him in the act for a really nice loot key of 4.5 mil. I love fighting people that aren't DHers. I wish there were more of those, you know? I'll still use my DH, but you don't wear it, you don't use it, you know? I like that kind of idea. Well, I threw a very big axe hit, and uh, he threw another one back at me, and unfortunately his was better. So I did die, but we are nearing the end here. These are the final fights of the 10-hour grind. Here we go from the Eclipse at Laddle to the Axe. He's got no armor on, and it actually paid off. Someone took off their armor, and I killed them for once. Uh, 9.4 mil. Nice fury. I will happily take that. That helps out the price check. And following that fight, another guy that took his armor off, but this time it did not work out in my favor. I hope by now, after this 10-hour hour of learning experience while DH became, I have learned enough to not ever fall for that again. If they take their armor off, I eat up to 99 HP no matter what now. Remind me that in the future. But anyway, another nice kill. This was a very clean kill. 5.7 mil from that. Not bad at all. Well, I always say I like fighting people who aren't wearing DH, but uh, this guy's got the burn effect on. We know he's about to one tick spec me, so I'm a little nervous here, but uh, yeah, you know, I was right to be nervous. There you go. Nice guy, though. Uh, ended up in uh, defeat, but yeah, we have a few kills left. I apologize about that. Uh, cat's meowing in the background. But yeah, there's another death. And with that one, guys, we're going to call it 3, 2, 1. 10 hours of PKing with full Darox has been completed. What a journey it was. There's the overall loot. I managed to kill 19 people. That's right, only 19 people in 10 hours with 205 mil in loot keys. Overall, I died 40 times in that time span of 10 hours. And here are all of my kills and deaths listed as usual on the notepad document from hour one all the way to hour 10. Unfortunately, I did not make any money in this video. I did lose quite a bit, but that's okay. I would like to think all the experience and all the learning that uh, I took from this is more valuable than what I lost. Uh, that's optimism for you anyway. And overall, I think the, the highlight for me was fighting skill specs of the Rev Caves and of course the Wilderness Agility Arena kill and chancing that guy in the Rev Caves. But overall, I lost 275 mil after PKing 205 mil, so 70 mil profit profit gone in 10 hours. We are down 70 for the day. Main lesson learned, probably stick to anti-PKing for now. And of course, when someone takes their armor off in a fight, don't uh, don't hit them. Yeah, eat your food. That'd probably work out better. Well, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. And all of that being said, thank you so much to the YouTube channel members for their monthly support with a special shout out to Deception Z, X Exotic X, and Let Us Attack. Until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.